OK, let's get more now on Aston Villa's search for a new manager. The squad are making their way to London for their Monday night football match with Tottenham. Uh, they are expected to meet their new boss at White Hart Lane. We can get more on this now and join Pete Colley, who is live for us. Pete, what is the latest? Well, they spoke about uh, David Moyes, Brendan Rodgers, but we've been telling you all week that it's the ex Leon boss, Reme Gard, and he'll be there at White Hart Lane tonight in a, a watching brief to have a look at his new side, Aston Villa. We understand that he'll take over here at Bodymore Heath tomorrow morning. Kevin McDonald, the uh, former under-21 and development manager here, has uh, prepared the team to face Tottenham. We, uh, we saw them leave earlier on about 10 o'clock from Birmingham International Airport. They've got the train down to, uh, to Euston. They'll be staying in a hotel, having a pre-match meal and a nap before arriving at White Hart Lane tonight for the, uh, the first of 28 games that they've got to, uh, to, to save their lives in the Premier League. So that's Reme Gard's remit and his job starting from tomorrow, 28 games to save Aston Villa. Thanks very much, Pete. OK, we'll get the thoughts of Neil McCann and Tony Castrino in just a moment on that potential appointment. But this morning, we have been asking you uh, whether you think he is the man to take Aston Villa up. We will get to that poll in just a moment. But let's have a look at Remy Gard's profile. He made 43 appearances for Arsenal from 1996 to 1999 and then retired from professional football. He was assistant manager at Lyon and won back-to-back -back League 1 titles. He also had a role as Lyon's academy director before being appointed Lyon's head coach in 2011. And he went on to win the French Cup in his first season. He left Lyon in 2014 for personal reasons and has since been working for French television. OK, I mentioned that poll just a short while ago. All morning we've been asking you, do you think Remy Gard is the man to help Aston Villa? This is the result. You've been voting all morning and look how close that is. 49% of you think that yes, Remy Gard is the man, but just edging it, it is the no's. 51% of you think that no, Remy Gard is not the man to help Aston Villa out. How tight was that? The poll may be closed, but I'm going to cast two more votes on it to see how it goes. Right, Remy Gard, can he keep them in the Premier League? A tough ask, um, but I think he, he seems the right type. He's a good communicator, knows the English game, works with youth, limited budget. Might be a good fit. Yes or no? Can I get a longer answer than that? <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's yes. talk about it. Yes, you go yes. I, mean, I might level it up. Right. OK, let's get into it then. You think he can keep them up. Uh, he knows the English game. He is a pupil of Arsene Wenger, let's put it that way. What's his priorities? Well, I think What's on his in-tray? Well, I think first and foremost, Rob, is that a few years seasons back, the Lyon president decided that they would not try and compete with PSG and Monaco after having a lot of success, Lyon, winning the title year after year and Champions League going well in the group stages, then further, in, further down the line. And the objective was that we wouldn't compete financially with the clout that PSG and Monaco had. And Remy Gard played a part in that, that he took on a younger element of the group. Players with potential, much lower budget. Now, they didn't win the league, but they competed with an incredible golf. The difference financially, PSG paid so much more money in wages, in transfers, like Monaco. So I think Randy Lerner has probably looked, and the chief exec have gone for a guy that can manage a football club on a budget and still have success. And let's not forget, there are some French players that have come over to Villa in the sum, from the summer that they probably feel they can get more out of. So it's an objective that I totally understand and get. OK, so I'm going to ask you that question you can see on the bottom of the screen in a moment when we go through a few other things. Right, low on confidence, uh, that's for sure. Right, how does he get about boosting that? Play an aggressive style, like Tim did when he first got the Villa job. He played a style, a brand that excited the players. Leon played a particular way. They had to be adventurous and I think Villa are not going to stay in the league by being defensive and trying to hang on into games. I think they've got to be braver as a club. And I think if you looked at his side, you know, he's an assistant, he's worked under Julier, he certainly is a student of Arsene Wenger, he's not going to play a brand of football that they feel that they're just going to get over the line and nick a draw. I think he'll be brave with his style, which I think the left-back, Marvi, come from Nice, he's a, I think he scored four goals in the French Championnat. He was a good attacking fullback. 
I think he'll use them type of weapons in his group. OK, is it fair to say he needs to hit the ground running? Have a look at this. Uh, next six fixtures. So, uh, 18 points on offer. Out of those 18 points, how many will they get? Oh, tough, tough start. Ass. Tough start, isn't it? T tough start, but hey, look, you know... Every game's tough in yeah. the Premier League I mean, now, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, well, well, you... well, even you're looking at it, you think, well, what, what's, what, what might be as easy as with being uh, totally respectful to Watford? You maybe think that, but look how well they're playing. You know, South keeping Hampton away, yeah, a great goal record against them. Um, so, and, and one of the top goal scorers in the league, they've got a gallo there. So, you're looking at those and thinking, I'm, I'm not sure how easy it's going to be there. But I, I agree with Tony. You're, he's not going to get anywhere in this league by being safe and being um, try to hold on and, and grip in and try and sneak a result here or there. He has to come. He has to. He has to get the players believing in themselves that they're good enough to get out of the position they're in. And, it, and, and some of the comments coming out about Tim Sherwood, I think Tim Sherwood came across to me as a good motivator. Mm. I think he was always enthusiastic. I think he was always up front um, in his approach. And, and maybe I think he was unlucky to lose his job. But with a new man coming in, it's a different culture he'll bring to the club. Um, it'll take him a little bit of time to bed in his beliefs. But as, as, well, as we've all been discussing there, he's got a, he's got a bedrock, he's got a, a, a base here. He knows the English game. As you said, a, a pupil of Arsene Wenger. He's got an understanding and people said he was almost like the, the second teacher to the new players coming into Arsenal under Wenger and, and instructing him on what Wenger wanted and what he wanted to put across. So I think he sounds an astute guy. Tony obviously knows him more than I do, but I think this could be a good opportunity. Well, OK, let's pick up on that last tweet that's come in from Nanny Pig. I don't think that's their real name. Uh, <laughs> I might be wrong. Uh, Nanny Pig says, I don't think anyone can save Villa, uh, says Nanny Pig. Right, can anyone? So is, is it that bad at the club at the moment? Your former club, of course. Yeah, they're in a very critical condition of... There's not any good, real good talking points. They've lost big players in Delft, Benteke, La, have all left the football club. They've, in some ways, Tim has been brave in the market. He tried to bring a younger element and a different type of brand of football. They've conceded way too many poor goals. I, I just think that Remy Gard's a bit, it feels a bit like Arsene Wenger. There'll be a lot of Villa fans are thinking, Remy Gard, yeah, sort of nine, but not really nine that much. And what is he going to give us? Well, I'm pretty much guaranteed that you'll get a brand of football you'll like and yeah, enjoy, yeah. a bit like what Klopp has seemingly feels at Liverpool. So I think they'll enjoy that. Um, it's a massive ass Rob. Right, OK, so we've, we've looked at it, and, and, and neither of you committed yourselves there. I noted that one on the bounce of the bounce of having Remy Gard in there and how many points they were going to pick up from those six. Neither of you committed to that one. Well, so I'm going to ask you a question again. Will he keep them in the Premier no, League? Never, uh, never grey, always black or white. Yeah. Rob. Um, yeah, I'll go yes. I think you will. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go yeah. Okay. That's Aston Villa. What about their opponents 